Today's project, I want to modify the rear rack for my electric bike so I can carry more stuff on it. I want to be able to carry more cargo, more people, and also the ability to carry a solar panel on the back of the bike. This is an Angway Engine Pro electric bike, but the process is the same for any bike rack. I cut out a piece of plywood and this is going to be the base of the rack. And from this, I'm going to be able to switch out different platforms and to install this piece of plywood on here, I'm going to have to remove the rack. There are two screws on here and two more screws on the other side. So here it is. I drill through the aluminum pipe and I put a screw through it. And I got four screws. It's very secure. This rack is made of aluminum and this pipe is hollow so it's easy to drill through if your rack has solid metal and you can't drill through you can use this this is called pipe hanger strap and you can find it at the plumbing department at the local hardware store i use this with my other e-bike and it's been holding for years up until now and now i just need to put it back with the four screws on the frame I've got the rack installed back on the bike and the plywood base on. I drill four holes on the plywood so that I can install different platforms on the bike, whether it's for cargo, for people, or a solar panel. I've got four screws with wing nuts. The wing nuts will allow me to install and uninstall different platforms on and off easily. So first let me show you my cargo platform. This is a piece of flooring material. Usually these are made of wood, but this one in particular is made of plastic. It's only a quarter inch, but it's rock hard. It's perfect for a platform for cargo. It's bigger than my plywood base down here. So if I need to carry something on here, it will be more secure and it doesn't fall off easily. I drill four holes on it so that it will match the holes on the base on the bottom. Now I'm just going to mount it on using these screws. Now I put the wing nut down here to secure the screw. You see with the wing nuts I can install and uninstall it very easily and quickly. Now I can put on my basket secure with a bungee cord like that and I'm good to go. If I want more cargo I can just put on another basket and secure it with another bungee cord and I got twice the amount of cargo. Well almost. Or if I want to go crazy how about that? I can carry the entire truckload of materials. By the way, this hook here, where I used to uh, mount on the uh, bungee cord, these are from a Toyota Matrix. So next, let me show you my pupil carrier. So all we have to do is to remove the screws and remove this platform. Now we can put on this rear seat. I drill four holes so that I can use my screw to secure it onto the base. And then secure these nuts on the bottom. And that's all I have to do to install this seat. Only takes less than a minute to install it. This seat is made of a piece of two by eight on the top. Two pieces of plywood. These are half inch plywood, in which I use three screws to screw on the uh, piece of wood on the top here and then on the bottom this uh, foot rest is just a piece of 2x3 
and then I screw a few screws from the other side onto the piece of plywood and that's it. It's very easy to make, it's very cheap to make, it can carry up to two people on the back. It also provides feet protection so if you have kids this piece of plywood here will prevent your kids from sticking the feet into the wheel while it's running. The next thing I want to show you is the solar panel mount but first we have to remove the seat mount which is very easy uh, just remove the wing nut from the bottom here pull the screw out and we can take the whole thing out it's very fast and easy to swap things in and out these are the rails for the solar panel mounts it's actually a single piece of rail for a garage opener I just cut it in half I drew a hole here and here so that I can mount it on using just two screws one screw here second screw goes here same thing for the other rail the rail is on and is very secure the length of this rail is about 50 inches each this is the solar panel I'm going to use for this project it's an eco worth a 100 watt solar panel it's a very small 100 watt solar panel the dimension on this is 18 inches by 39 inches and as you can see I'm using an L bracket this is galvanized steel L bracket for a garage opener so you use this to mount your opener on the ceiling I'm mounting the bracket onto the frame of the solar panel by four holes and these are the original holes on the frame of the solar panel and I didn't have to drill any extra hole to secure the solar panel onto the rail I'm using this this is a piece of rubber from the spare tire compartment in a Toyota Matrix I drill a hole right in the center and I'm using a carriage bolt and I'm just gonna screw it in all the way to the end a carriage bolt has a square bit at the end so that when I screw it all the way to the end that square bit is going to go into the hole but because the hole is smaller than the square when it goes into the hole it will be secure and it won't move as I continue to turn you can see it starts to go into the hole that square part starts to go into the hole and until it's going to be very tight and you can't turn the screw anymore this bolt is now stuck onto the rubber and it won't turn if I turn the screw from this side you can see it's not turning I'm grabbing it really hard now I can just put it inside the rail turn it so that the screw will face up now I can mount the solar panel on here this can slide inside the rail so I can adjust where to mount the solar panel very easily and when I secure this screw this piece of rubber is gonna grab onto the rail really hard and because it's rubber it's not gonna move anywhere when it's tightened let's mount the solar panel on put my washer on and then my wing nut on I'm using wing nuts so I can easily put it on and take it off and you can see when I turn the wing nut the screw doesn't turn that's the advantage of a carriage bolt let me show you how fast it is to mount this thing that's it here you can see the rubber is bent upward and it's hugging the rail that is a very secure connection and here it is the solar panel is fully mounted on the back of the bike and it is very secure you can see there's a gap between the seat and the solar panel and I do it on purpose 
I want to have a space between me and the solar panel. This is about 10 inches. If the solar panel is too close to me, it's going to create shadows. And shadow is the number one enemy of a solar panel. Let's go ahead and give it a go, shall we? Alright, go. So by installing the panel this way, it's narrow so I can easily get on a bike trail or go on some places that has narrow road. It's also easy to maneuver because it's narrow, but I can only get 100 watt of power out of this. If I turn the panel sideways, I can put another solar panel right next to it so I can double the power. It is a little bit wide. 40 inches wide to be exact but it's still manageable i just have to be extra careful when i install it this way so there you have it those are the three ways i use a rear rack to carry cargo solar panel or people very fast and easy to switch between different platforms that's all for now thanks for watching see you next time